Hey juicers, if you had lived in Egypt between 1479 and 1458 BCE, you would have been under the rule of the Pharaoh Hatshepsut. But who was this king? Well, this king was actually a queen. So why was this female pharaoh mistaken as male? Well, that comes down to how Hatshepsut was depicted in Egyptian artworks. Take a look at this statue from early in Hatshepsut's reign. She's depicted fully as female, and this can be seen through her dress, stance, physique, and inscription. Now take a look at this statue from the latter part of Hatshepsut's reign. She's depicted fully as male, and it's only the inscriptions that give away that this statue is actually of a woman. There are a few possibilities as to why Hatshepsut's depictions slowly shifted. One being that Hatshepsut lived in a male-dominated society. As a result, there were no words or imagery to portray a woman with her status. This effort to conform to existing norms regarding how a pharaoh is portrayed allowed Hatshepsut to associate herself with past pharaohs and their successes. Hatshepsut's story took a long time to unfold because after her death, her stepson Thutmose III called for Hatshepsut's monuments to be destroyed and defaced, erasing her from history. Hatshepsut was one of the few women able to hold the power of Pharaoh in Egypt. She was regarded as one of the most successful 18th dynasty kings and ruled the people of Egypt into prosperous and enlightening times for more than two decades. And that's the juice.